In the last few lectures, we learned about component in great detail. We learned how to create a component, how to define the view template for that component, and how to style that view template. So if I go to this source folder, inside this source folder, we have this app folder, and in there, we created this header component. So if I go to this header component.ts file, there we have this header component class decorated with at component decorator. Now we created this header component manually by defining this header component class, decorating it with at component decorator, and then registering this header component in the app module.ts file, basically inside this declarations array. So here you can see we are registering, we are declaring this header component which we created. Now we can also create a component using Angular CLI. And for that, we simply need to run this command. So the command is ng generate component and the component name. Now what this command will do is it will first create a component class decorated with at component decorator. It will also generate the view template and style sheet for that component. And it will also register that component class in the main module. So we don't have to do anything manually here in order to create a component everything will be taken care by angular cli so let's see how we can create a component using this angular cli command but before that let's first go ahead and let's fix the error which we introduced in our last lecture so in the last lecture from this angular application we uninstalled bootstrap right and when we uninstalled bootstrap we are still referring to that bootstrap file in our angular.json file basically here inside this styles array so you see we are still referring to that bootstrap.min.css file inside this angular.json. And because of this, what is happening is when I'm trying to compile this project, I'm getting this error. So the error says can't resolve this file path in this project. And because of that, the compilation is failing. So in order to fix this problem, all we have to do is we have to go back to VS code and from the angular.json file from within this styles array, we need to remove that path we need to remove that reference and with this if i save the changes now our angular application should compile properly without any errors so if i go back to command prompt here let's first go ahead and let's stop this process by pressing ctrl c let me clear the command prompt here and then let's again go ahead and let's run this ng serve command and now we should not have any compilation errors So now you can see the project is compiling successfully and we don't have any compilation errors. All right, now let's go back and let's go ahead and let's create a new component using Angular CLI. For that, let's open this terminal. And what we want is we want to create a new component called top header. So let me first clear the terminal here. And in order to create this top header component, we are going to use Angular CLI. So here we need to type the command ng generate in short we can also write it as ngg and we want to generate a component so we need to specify that or in short we can also write it as c for component and then the name for the component so i'm going to call this component top header let's press enter and what this command will do is it will create a folder with the name top header and inside that it will generate all the component related files so now if I go to source folder, in the source folder, if I go to app folder, there you will see inside this app folder, we have another folder called top header. And inside this top header folder, we will have all the files related to the top header component. So here we have the top header component.ts file. There we have this top header component class decorated with at component decorator. In there we have the selector called as app top header. But instead of calling it app top header, I will simply call it top header. Okay, and wherever we will use this top header selector, there this HTML file will be rendered. So this is the view template for this top header component. So let's go to this top header component.html file. In there, currently we simply have one paragraph element. So wherever we will use this top header selector, there that paragraph will be rendered. Okay, and we also have top header component.css file inside this we can write some css for our top header component then we also have this top header component.spec.ts file basically 
It is a file inside which we can write some unit tests for our component. But for now, I don't want to worry about writing unit tests. So what I will do is I will simply go ahead and I will delete this file. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's use this top header component in our app component. So I'll copy this selector. Let's go to app component.html and there before this app header, let's use this top header. Okay, so for this top header, this paragraph will be rendered. Let's see that in web page. So let's go back to the web page and there you will notice that paragraph has been rendered. But instead of rendering a paragraph here, I want to display a top header. Now, in order to save some time, I have already written some HTML for the top header. So I'll copy that HTML from here. Let's go back to VS Code. And here, instead of that paragraph, let's paste that HTML. Here, I don't need this ID for now, so I'll remove it. So this is a very simple HTML where we have a div with this class ecart top header in there we have a paragraph with this value and then we are also displaying a font awesome icon so let me save these changes here let's go back to the web page and there you will see that paragraph okay now in order to style this top header again i have written some css so let's grab that css from here let's go back to vs code and let's go to top header component.css and there let's paste that CSS. Let's save the changes again. Let's go back to the web page. And this is how our top header looks like. Okay. Now you might ask, okay, using the Angular CLI, we created the component. But when we created the component manually, that time we also had to register it in the main module in the app module class right but we have not done that for this top header component well that's because after creating this top header folder and generating the files for the top header component angular cli will also declare that component in the main module so if i go to this app module.ts file there you will see that this top header component that has already been declared inside this declaration array. so it has been imported from this file path and then it has been added to this declarations array we don't have to do it manually so all these manual tasks are taken away from us when we create a component using angular cli and this helps us in speeding up the development process and that's the advantage of using angular cli for creating the angular component all right let me go ahead and let me close these files now Okay. Now, what I also want is if I go to this header component and if I go to this header component HTML file, you will see that here in this header component, we have a lot of HTML. So what I want is I want to refactor this HTML. If I go to the web page, there you will see we have two nav bars. So the first one, let's say is top nav bar and this one is the main nav bar. So what I want is I want to create separate components for this top nav bar or maybe we can call it top menu and also the main menu so let's go ahead and let's create components for these two menus now let me go ahead and let me clear the terminal first so the top menu and the main menu these two components are going to be the child component of this header component because we are going to use those components inside this header component okay so since these components are going to be the child component of this header component, what we need to do is we need to move inside this header component first. For that, we can type this CD command. So currently we are in the project directory, basically this directory. From here, we need to go to source folder. From the source folder, we need to go to app folder. And from the app folder, we need to go to header folder. So we can say source slash app slash header if i press enter now we are in the header folder and inside that header folder we want to create a new component for that again we can use ng generate command in short you can also write it as ngg and we want to generate a component and i'm going to call this component 
top menu. Let's press enter. And now this command should generate the top menu component with all the required files. So it has been generated and in the header folder, you will see a new folder called top menu has been created. And in there, we have all the component related files. Again, let me go ahead and let me delete this spec.ts file. We don't need it for now. Okay, so if I go to top menu component.ts file, there we have this top menu component class decorated with at component decorator. And there the selector is app top menu. Again, I'll simply call it as top menu. For that, the view template is this HTML file and style sheet is this HTML file. So inside this, I want to write the HTML for top menu, basically the HTML for this menu. So I'll copy it from header component.html. So this is the top menu. Let me cut it from here and I'll specify a comment here. Top menu so that later I will add that top menu component selector after this comment. So let me go to top menu component.html instead of this paragraph. Let me paste that HTML here. And then we also want to design this HTML. And we have the CSS for this HTML file inside header component.css file. So here, if I scroll up, we have the CSS for that class, ecart top bar. Now, if I don't copy this CSS class from here and paste it inside top menu component.css, this style will not get applied on that div. So in the top menu component.html, we have this div with this ecart top bar class name. Okay, but in the CSS file, we don't have any style for that class, but we have some styles defined for that CSS class in header component.css file. But we have learned that this CSS, it will be only applied to the view template of header component. It will not get applied to the view template of any other component. And just to prove that, let me go ahead and let me copy the top menu selector from here and let's use it in the header component.html so here let's go ahead and let's use it okay let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and there you will see that the top menu is being displayed but there is no css style applied on that and this is what we learned earlier so even though there is a css style defined for that CSS class in the header component.css file, it will not get applied on that because that is a completely different component. This top menu component, it is a different component than header component. Even though it is a child component of this header component, this CSS style is not getting applied there. So what I will do is I will cut it from here. Let's go to top menu component.css file and there let's paste that CSS. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And now you will see that some styles have been applied here. So basically now it is displayed in the right hand side. But again, the underlines for these links are still there and the color of these links are still blue. That's because we also need to take the styles which we have defined for the anchor element, basically this style. And we need to put it inside the top menu component.css file. But instead of specifying this style here, so I can specify it here and I can save it. And if you go to the web page again, there, those styles are there. But then for these anchor elements, those styles are gone. So what we want is we want to apply these styles for all the anchor elements. We want to specify these styles globally for all the anchor elements. So what I will do is I will take this style for this anchor element from here and I will add that CSS style in the style.css file so that it will be applied globally. So now on all the anchor elements in this Angular project, these styles will be applied. So if I save the changes now, and if we go back, now those styles are applied on these menu items also, these links also, and these links also. Okay, so in this way, we separated the top menu component from the header component. So if I go back, let me close this top menu component.css file. Let's also close this style.css file. 
and let me close this top many component.html file. We are not going to do anything in this file right now. And if I go to this header component.html file, now it is a bit leaner. So now to display the top menu, we only have one line of HTML. In the same way, I also want to separate this main menu into a separate component. So again, let me go ahead and let me clear the terminal here. And again, we want to create this new component inside the header component only because this main menu component, it is also going to be a child of header component. So again, I will say ng generate component and I'm going to call this component main menu. Let's press enter. So again, it should generate all the required files for the main menu component. All right, it has been generated. A folder has been created here called main menu. From here, let me first go ahead and let me delete this spec.ts file. If I go to main menu component.ts, there you will see we have this main menu component class decorated with add component decorator. It has this selector, template URL, and style URLs. So now let's go to header component.html and let's cut this HTML from here. And here we want to display main menu okay now let's go to main menu component.html instead of this paragraph let's paste that html so here we have a div with this class ecart menu so let's go ahead and let's copy the css for this class from header component.css so somewhere we should have the main menu okay this ecart menu let's cut it from here Let's go to main menu component.css file in there. Let's paste it. Let's save the changes. Let's go to main menu component.ts file. From there, let's get the selector. Again, instead of calling it app main menu, I'll simply call it main menu. I'll copy this selector. And again, let's go to header component.html. And after this comment, let's use that selector. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go back to our application and you can see that main menu. All right, it looks great, but for some reason it has shifted a bit left, but that's okay for now. Let's go back to VS Code again. Let's go to header component.html and from here, I also want to remove this search bar. So in the web page, we also have this search bar. I don't want it in the header. So I'll simply go ahead and I will remove it from here. Okay. And from the header component.css, let's also go ahead and let's remove the CSS for that search bar. So we want to remove this ecart search bar, ecart search box, and ecart search button. Let's go to the web page and that search bar has been removed. All right, so this is all from this lecture. In this lecture, we learned how we can create an Angular component using Angular CLI. And also, if I go back, you will notice that these two components which we have just created, this main menu and top menu, if I go to app module.ts file, there you will notice that those classes are automatically declared here inside this declaration array. Okay, so when we use Angular CLI, we don't have to do these things manually. Angular CLI will take care of that.